Hi, singing friends. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Michal Tauber. If this is your first time here, welcome to the party. Today, I'm going to be reviewing Floor Jansen, which is somebody that you guys have been asking me to react to since I started doing reaction videos. She sings for the band Nightwish. And I finally did go down a rabbit hole of watching a bunch of her videos and obviously was very, very impressed. So today I'm going to be reacting to Ghost Love Score live at Wacken Open Air 2013. And this performance is taken from the live DVD Showtime Storytime. And it's a pretty long performance. I'm going to try to limit the amount of time that I interrupt. I'll take like a break in the middle to give a little bit of commentary and then I'll say something at the end. So let's dive right in. <laughs> stop it there for a moment. So the first thing that strikes me is I just love seeing festivals, the grand scale of everything, seeing that sea of people when you look out at the audience just really heightens the experience and makes it seem so much more impactful and meaningful than seeing a tiny little performance. And the music is so epic sounding. There's something that's really grand about the presentation, the stage setting, and I love the almost like prog rock element of the like changing meter in the beginning where it's not exactly like how you would expect it. It kind of like skips ahead and then falls back a little bit. And then it completely changes the groove right before she comes in. So already we've had like several acts in this symphonic performance, which makes it really, really cool and just seem so much more uh, grandiose than a normal song, you know? So that's really, really cool. And then visually, I love that when she comes out, she's this really uh, imposing, tall figure. Like people in the comments are comparing her to like a Valkyrie or Wonder Woman, or I think about like Xeno Warrior Princess or something, like she's dressed all in leather. But even though there's kind of this like masculine energy to the music and it's so heavy and dark, when she starts singing, her voice is so pure and beautiful and feminine and it creates this really nice contrast. So you have this really heavy, loud music and then here comes this operatic soprano and her voice is so clear and connected in that head voice. And it says so much about her technique that her voice is able to sail above all of this noise. And 
all of this power and all of this masculine energy and really cut through without being aggressive and being so feminine and lovely. So those are kind of the things that strike me right away. <laughs> so let's listen to a bit more. stop it there for a moment then I promise I'll let it play out for a little longer um I just want to say that I read in her bio that she's also a singing teacher and you can tell that her technique is basically perfect the amount of breath support and control that it takes to sustain those high notes is really really difficult and you can also see I've kind of been focusing a lot on this in my own teaching recently just how perfectly she sets up her singing apparatus she really opens her mouth wide on those high sustain notes right and you see her tongue is really flat her throat is really open so you could see everything is like in its optimal position for singing resonance and her technique is perfect you can hear it and you can see it to me sang my a nice little interlude here and I just love how this piece is over 10 minutes long and it's not this traditional song format but you really get a sense of this development and how there's like different movements and that makes it feel so much more epic and the things that she's singing about I haven't analyzed the lyrics or anything but it sounds like they're pretty epic themes too like it's not just like your average love song you know like it's these more mythic grandiose kind of large themes so that adds to this level of um that you're watching something that's really a performance and really at another level I also really appreciate her stage presence and how it matches her voice in how it's very restrained in a way you know like you don't hear her really screaming or really being in this chesty powerful belt even though her voice obviously is carrying and projecting in this very powerful way but there's a certain amount of elegance and restraint that's mirrored by the guitar player when he takes that solo he's not like flailing around and playing whatever and improvising it's something that seems like it was very carefully composed and executed You 
you really do feel like you're at the symphony. <laughs> but for metal, you know.
that was really, really cool. It's just nice to see a strong, powerful woman. I think she's actually really close to my age too. So she's not like a young girl. She's very in control. She has great technique and she's just leading this huge, epic band. I love the scale of everything. I love to see her kind of at the front of this <laughs> group of dudes that are kind of doing her bidding. Um, and I love the non-traditional format of the music. I think it's a really interesting blend of a lot of different genres and there's certainly an epic quality to it that is reminiscent of like Queen, but like in a different genre, you know? So I think it's really cool. Um, it's probably not something that I would have found on my own or that I would listen to on my own because it's not the genre that I am naturally drawn to, but I have a lot of appreciation for her talent and I can see why people go nuts over her. She definitely has an incredible voice, an incredible stage presence, and the overall production is really something that's um, phenomenal and interesting and engaging and cool and groundbreaking and all of that good stuff. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Um, I am definitely open to reviewing some more of her performances. So if there's other songs that you want me to look at, please let me know. And I will see you here next week for another singing video. Until then, happy singing.